This is the biggest streamer in the world you've probably never heard about. The streamer in question goes by the name of Ibai, a Spanish Twitch streamer born in the small town of De Usto. Ibai went live on the 1st of July for his annual boxing event, La Velda. La Velda? La Velda. Alongside other massive Spanish Twitch streamers and content creators, as well as followed by eight massive musical acts from all over Spain and Latin countries. Had like pyros, fireworks. It was honestly just impressive as hell. Ibai broke the Twitch view count record, currently now standing at 3.44 million people during the event. The previous record was held by Gref G, another Spanish influencer, which was currently standing at the time of about 2.5 million. The English community like now almost seems dead in comparison to the Spanish community. No shade being thrown, of course. Now that I'm thinking about it, the Spanish community on Twitch is such a huge bubble that nobody talks about in the English side of it. Understandably because of the language barrier, but it still just blows my mind about how huge this community actually is. Ibai also managed to sell out the Civitas Metropolitan Stadium in Madrid, which with my research would indicate that there were 70,000 available seats. The tickets sold out within an hour at 30 euros a pop. That means in ticket sales alone, Ibai made about $2.1 million. Not to mention his sponsors, which by the way, he had Coke, Spotify, uh, and a bunch of others that were in Spanish that unfortunately I couldn't understand, but they were just to name a few. But in true Twitch fashion, it wasn't all smooth sailing. Ibai made this statement during the event. It's a shame because I think Twitch is down. I think Twitch is acting weird. Lots of people are telling this in the chat. We're in contact with Twitch because the truth is it's a shame to put on this event with a platform that isn't capable of providing a good server but we're trying and let's see if we could fix it with a little bit of luck. Lanos said, everyone, we're sorry this is happening, but there's little we can do here. We are sorry. The next day he went live on his YouTube channel to summarize the whole event, I'm assuming. And he stated that Twitch capped his views at 3.4 million, which like blows my mind because at this point, Twitch is complaining about money and with the rise of kick and everything else that's happening and all the bad publicity surrounding Twitch. The last thing you would expect from the company is to cap a view count and not prepare for such a huge event that stands to make them millions. At this point, all damage, I think, is just self-inflicted on the site itself. I, I cannot harbor any sympathy for them. What an absolutely stupid decision not to put any effort in towards this event considering it was their biggest stream to date. I was watching it this time on my own channel, and I can back up that the site did in fact crash multiple times. It went from like my follow list uh, completely disappearing to every stream on the platform black screening, which again, I don't understand why Twitch didn't put in any effort at all. How did they not know that this event was gonna be huge? I mean, Ibai even stated that he warned them prior to any of this happening. So I just, I can't, man. I just, if I say anything, I'll probably lose my partnership on the website itself. So zip mouth for now. But back to the event itself. The event itself was absolutely incredible. It blew my mind with the, just the production value, all the crews, how polite the crowd was, seeing a full arena, the music was just insane. Even though it was all in Spanish, it transcended the language barrier, which rarely any content from other communities does, which should be a sign to show how much effort was purely put into this event alone. XQC and Amaranth were also supposed to be at the event, according to Ibai. XQC was set to fight Rubias and Amaranth was set to fight Rivers, a Mexican content creator, and Rubias, another Spanish content creator. But apparently that didn't go to plan because Rubias went live on Ibai's stream during a call and said this. XQC contesta el Discord. What? Ahí lo dejo. Contesta el Discord. No me dejes colgando como el año pasado. Amaranth also reportedly had some health issues, so at this point it's kind of understandable that she pulled that. According to an article, which I'll pull up now again, 
it was apparently a life-threatening ovary scare. Now, I don't know much about uh, human bio, but that does sound pretty intimidating to me. So I don't blame her for pulling out of the event. Ebai also followed up this statement by saying that he was disappointed, but I mean, what can you do at this point, right? Overall, I want to finish off by stating that the event was amazing. I watched from start to finish with my community, and honestly, I can't fault any of it. I want to say a huge congratulations to Ebai, his whole team, and just the sheer amount of blood, sweat, and tears that I can see has been poured into this event. I am not envious of how much work went into it. I'm already sweating thinking about how hard it would be to organize content creators. I am for sure looking forward to the next Lavalda event next year, which I believe is still happening. You know, being half Latino myself, after this event, I want to thank you, Ibai, because now I think I want to learn a little bit more Spanish. Let me know down in the comment section if you even knew who Ubai was or if you like the content in general. I would appreciate a like or a subscription only if I've earned it. Anyway, thank you for the video and till next time.